What's going on everybody? Today I'm bringing you a quick video on updated rune light settings for 2022. In this video I'm going to show you how to take the default game, which looks like this, and turn it into this. So one of the first settings that we need to update is going to be animation smoothing. If you highlight over each plugin, it'll tell you what it does, but it smooths out all the animations. So really just have all three selected and then hit it. And then as you'll see, even immediately, some of the animations will start to already be smoothed out. The next setting that I would definitely tamper with is the camera. Um, so you enable it, and then I personally expand inner zoom limit, which allows you to go all the way in. And then your outer zoom limit, you want to set to 90. And then really, as far as that goes, it's all that you'll want in this. And if you ever want to reset any of these settings in the bottom of each plugin, you just hit the reset button. Cool one to take a look at also is the custom cursor. I personally like just the regular gold one from like 2010. But if you come in here, you can go and you can select all the different ones that you like. Go to a dagger, things like that. But I just like the gold one, me personally, but I always turn on custom cursor. So the biggest one that you have is actually the GPU plugin. What this does is it takes the game from running off of the processor and turns it into running on the graphics card. Now this is a big one to definitely help with the game and the FPS of it, as well as just getting everything looking a lot better. So I always enable this, and as you'll see, and just firstly enabling it, it already just seems smoother. FPS is better. Um, draw distance again, I set this to 90. What this does is allows you to Z everything else that's outside. You can click these things farther than you'd be able to click on your mini-map. So it's a great thing to have. Um, remove color banding as well will help smooth out some of the colors, kind of loses some of the textured look, totally your decision. UI scaling, what I do with this is just take a look at each of them, see what they look like, kind of go from there. Um, if you look, some of them kind of change the chat box a little bit. Um, I personally use the Mitchell one, seems to work the best for me. And then if you have any questions about anything, you can just highlight over it and then play with it. So you see here, it kind of has this textured look to the bushes. If you turn it up a little bit, it starts to smooth them out. You can go all the way down. You just keep going to play with it to see what you kind of like the look of. And then really another one, you can unlock FPS here. So if you have a better computer, it'll just make it where your FPS is higher. And then you can set your target to whatever you want it to be. Now, since we unlock the FPS, turn on your FPS control and it'll show you what it's maxing out at. A lot of this has to do with your monitor as well as your GPU, just seeing where it can get you to as well. As far as for the visual appeal, this is really the settings that you'll want to change around inside of Runelight just to make them what's going to be the best for you. Just kind of play with the settings, see what you like the most. Now, a pro tip here is you can also tamper with the settings inside of your GPU to make them even more different, just depending on the GPU that you have. Stretch mode is another one that you can tamper with a little bit to see what you like. I like to have increased performance mode on and then you can kind of scale it to your liking. Just start at 10% and kind of move from there as you'll see it'll kind of bump the chat box and the inventory up. Just go to your liking. Um, you can go all the way to, you know, whatever you want. Personally, about 15% is good for me. I like to have a little bit of a gap in between there. It doesn't take away too much. Now for some of the plugins that you can download that I recommend that I keep in my account, um, Quest Helper is obviously good if you're a newer player, helps with the quest and things like that. You also have resource packs. This can help change the UI. So you go in, find one that you like.
I like the dark theme, so if you install it, it'll kind of just change everything over. And then you can play around with these and see which ones that you like as well. Another one that I really like is camera smoothing. This is one that when you're zooming in and out, it just makes it look a little bit different. Um, not absolutely crucial to have, but it is nice. So you can go all the way out and just the zooming itself is a lot smoother. So really those are a couple of the ones that I personally use. The great thing about logging into Runelight and having a Runelight account is if you go to a different computer, so when I go to my laptop, all of my settings will transfer over. So it's just better to have the account safe, you know, obviously secure your account the best way that you can, and you'll definitely be fine. But just recommend using an account so you don't have to continue to manipulate the settings as well. All right, inside of your GPU's control panel, so if you have NVIDIA, for instance, like I do, just go to NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, and then you look in here to see if room lights in here, but most likely it won't be. So if you're using NVIDIA, just hit add and then find rune light and then add selected program. And then you're gonna go to mode and you're going to do override any application setting. And then here you can change it to two, four, or eight. So let's turn it to eight. And then you just hit apply down here. And when you do that, then when you open the game, you're going to notice that things will look lightly different. For instance, the edges of the doors will look different, um, and as well as some of the textiles inside of the game will look different. To get the full effect of this, you'll want to restart the game. Also, if you're using the HD plugin, I'll show you the settings that I use for HD just to kind of get you the best view that you can have for it. Play with these settings because it does matter from computer to computer as well. But as you'll see, even with the NVIDIA changes, it does make it more textured on the ground and things like that that normally HD doesn't do by itself. So, highly recommend these settings. When I'll go through them, feel free to pause the video at any point just to look through them. Just kind of play with these settings too. Find what you'd like to be the most and then go from there. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like. Drop a sub for me. See y'all in the next one.